Okay guys, I am about to go get my hair trimmed and the lady said that um, if I came in with my hair already blow dried, washed and blow dried, that she would just do trim. And I don't really want her to do my hair. I don't really like when solids do my hair unless I'm getting it straightened. So I'm just gonna show you guys what my hair looks like. I'm hoping and praying she does a good job. I've never been to her before, but a couple people that I know have went to her and said good things. So yeah, I'm hoping for the best. So I'm just gonna blow dry my hair. I'm not gonna show the whole thing on camera, obviously, but I just want y'all to see what it looks like. And then I'll talk about, you know, my experience when I get back. I got the AC on blast and I'm still sweating. <sighs> okay, so I'm putting on like a little bit of the scalp massaging. I got this design essential scalp massager stuff. I put on my scalp and I just put a little bit on my hair as well. Because I like the way it makes my hair feel. That is what we have. So I hope I still have some left because my hair has grown a lot. Um, and the, like the last, I don't know, year or so. Um, but I really don't mind if she has to cut a little bit more than I want because my ends are just so awful. But I've never been to her before, so I don't really know what to expect. And she is known for her haircuts, so I'm hoping <laughs> that she ain't trying to cut my hair. You know, I want it, I want her to like understand that I just, I want to trim. So we will see, but this is what my hair looks like all blow dried. These are already coming to loose. So bad. Leave my ends are, God, I'm so hot. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like completely blow dried. So, yeah, I will give you guys an update when I come back. Wish me, <laughs> wish me luck. Okay, so it's the next day, the next morning, seven o'clock in the morning right now. Um, and I was about to go twist up my hair and I just realized I didn't talk about my experience. So. Uh, this is what my hair is looking like. Um, so, okay. First of all, <laughs> I didn't know we were still booking three clients at a time at, a, at the salon. Like, that happened when I was in high school. I, I thought we was off of that. Like I had to wait like a good 20 minutes to be seen. And even when she was like done with a person in a chair, she went, you know, shampooed them. And a person who was out the dryer had the hood up. Okay, had the hood up. So she was ready to be taken care of. She got her from off the dryer, put her in her chair, saw me again and was like, oh wait, I have to trim her real quick. You know, you can sit back down over there and then I'll get you after I trim her up. And I was like, real quick. This this gonna be real quick? Okay. And it was real quick. 
um she put me in her chair she was like your hair is so healthy and i was like oh thank you you know i just my ends are like hella split like i need my ends trimmed real bad and so she y'all know i had my hair in sections she went section by section clipped my ends and that was that and when she turned me around i was like oh i look like a lion because my hair was all out like I, I don't usually have my hair out like this because I always just twist it up in sections. But I was like, oh, I look like a lion. And she and I saw the split ends when she turned me around. And she said, yeah, that didn't take long, long at all. And I was like, you're done? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, what? It was little to no cutting, like seriously. I mean, granted, it does. I will admit, it looks a little bit better. But this is not what I was expecting at all. I'm gonna insert some footage here from when Tasha did my hair and trimmed my hair when my ends were really, really split. So since my ends were split so very badly, she had to do a technique where she twists the hair um, all the way from the root to the tip and then goes ahead and uh, cut the ends started sticking out because my ends were so split. I think it was over a six month period since I had my ends cut. So that's why they look so raggedy. And bless Tasha's heart because she did this technique all around my entire head. So it took quite some time, but I, oh my God, I thanked her so much because obviously my hair needed it. I mean, you can see how badly my hair looked and she hooked that thing up. And granted, in this video that I talked about, I talked about how like I had never had anyone do trim my hair this way before. And I thought it was like a new technique. And somebody in the comment section was like, this ain't no new technique. This is what a trim is. This is what people should do when they're trimming your ends and you have really bad split ends. I said, oh, okay, because I never had that experience. But I also don't think I've ever had that bad of split ends at that time. It's been raining again. It's been raining like every day. Oh, it's so annoying. Anyway, um, <laughs> so that's what I wanted, but that's not what I got. So I don't really know if I should be upset because maybe what Tasha did is not considered a trim. Maybe it's called something else, but that's what I wanted. And I think I'm gonna ask natural, I mean, I keep calling him natural hair guy in my, in my head, but his name is African Hair Guy. He's a stylist here on YouTube who critiques people's videos, who says something negative about me. Somebody like told me about it and I was like, I thought we was cool. But <laughs> basically when I, when I made a video about should I cut my hair, people thought I was tripping saying that my hair wasn't damaged. I never said the health of my hair was bad. I was talking about my ends. Like, is my ends damaged enough that I should just get a haircut? That's what I was talking about. I think people thought that I was trying to say that my the health of my hair, like, was messed up. That's not what I was saying. But whatever. That's not what we're talking about in this video. Um, <laughs> I'm going to ask him what he thinks. Since he's a stylist, maybe then that can clear up how I'm feeling because that's not what I wanted and that's not what I got, but maybe that's not what I asked for. So I don't know, but hopefully, you know, I can find somebody who lives here. Um, I'm getting my hair done by, done by Tasha in October. I already got my appointment booked. So I know then I will get what I want. Um, and I'm getting color too, hallelujah. It's been too long without color in my hair. So hopefully, you know, I will be happy then. But I just don't know. I don't know. There's another stylist here in Murfreesboro that is popular. But every time I go to book an appointment, it's like three months out when she has availability. So I don't know how that's gonna work out. And there is another stylist that I actually went to a long time ago in Memphis, but that's three hours away from here. So I was thinking maybe I could just do like a road trip and get my hair done. I don't know. So anyway, let me know what y'all think. I'm about to twist up my hair. 
so I can actually put out like a regular video. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all later in the next one. And let me know your thoughts. All right, so I just got done twisting my hair and I will say that there aren't any like frayed ends. Well, well, okay, they are a little bit, but they're not as bad as they used to be. So that way I know that she did do a good job um, when it comes to that respect. But hopefully with the video that I inserted, you understand what I mean by like what I was expecting as to what I got. But I will say that my ends are not crazy like they were before when I was twisting my hair. And if you don't know what I mean, you can look at the video that I posted a few days ago because um, my ends were shot in that video. So I just wanted to just come and show that. Cause this is my first, uh, well, see, that's not good. Mm -mm, that's not good. Okay. I'm going to leave the video. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Bye-bye.